adapting supply chain planning in chaotic times. Well, joining us today to speak about that, Michelle Yusuf, Vice President, Team Manager at Gartner. Michelle, it's good to see you. Welcome. Thank you, Russell. Michelle, let's uh, turn to just what it is that uh, supply chain planners have had to deal with in the last several years, because quite frankly, it has been turbulent, it has been disruptive, and it's been chaotic. So what would you say some of the lessons have been in the last couple of years that they have learned? What would you say? Thank you, Russell. Really, if I would look into the past 24 years of my experience in supply chain planning, I've never seen years like the past two, from the pandemic to material shortages, to different customer behaviors, that all impacted supply chain planning processes. It made supply chain planning leaders rethink and reevaluate their traditional planning tools. That didn't work really in the past. So a key differentiator has been how to connect sales and operation execution to sales and operation planning to financial planning processes. Companies before the pandemic had different processes that are not necessarily connected to each other. And they suddenly realized that they have to make these connections and make th this differentiation at the same time so that the short-term process crisis is managed in a certain way within the sales and operation execution process. This typically extends between week one up to week 12 in, mo in, some, in most of the companies. In some other companies, it would be extend a bit longer than that. And it's typically a weekly time uh, uh, drumbeat process. The other side of it is connecting the sales and operation planning process to the financial planning. Financial leaders of companies are re were really struggling to find how they, they are going to end the year with in terms of revenue, in terms of profitability, gross margin, and working capital. And the sales and operation planning process re realized that it's with its static way that's not enough really so that they can provide this predictability to the financial planning process. Another important learning in the past couple of years has been around collaboration with customers and suppliers. Companies realize that they cannot do it on their own. The end-to-end -end visibility within the company is not really enough because there are more material shortages, there are different customer expectations. You know, collaboration is one of these things that's often talked about and sometimes quite uh, quite often not practiced as well as it should be. If you were to give us a uh, the industry a, a sort of a report card, how have we been doing in these turbulent times to adapt? What would you say? Yeah, I, I think you're right when it comes to customer collaboration. 40% of our clients tell us that customer collaboration is hard, although it's one of the top three challenges for them to meet the, their supply chain metrics. So what we have seen is that essentially co companies have been trying to connect with their customers and their suppliers as well, not only to their tier one suppliers, but also to their tier two suppliers so that they can establish that long-term connection between the, the different companies. However, that came without te enough technology to support that. So that's why many of the companies uh, are now exhausted when it comes to having that collaboration. So as it needs to be in a sus more sustainable way, companies are starting to build into technology investments through collaboration tools with customers and suppliers. So as uh, when you look uh, down the road, what do you see in terms of SNOP evolving? That's a very good point. Companies realized that the SNOP in its static way does not work, does not fit the requirements of this turbulent environment that we live in now and that we expect to continue. And therefore, leading companies have been talking about how they adapt their scenario planning capability so that they can respond to different business scenarios in hours, not in a month, not in weeks. They need to really respond in hours in terms of how much that scenario would cost, in terms of inventory, in terms of cost, in terms of potential service, impact on other customers, and so on. And leading companies have been doing that through what they call concurrent planning or continuous planning so that they are able to assess all these turbulent uh, environment uh, 
points. Michel, uh, let me put on my customer hat. I, I'm coming to you because I know that I, my uh, supply chain planning organization needs more agility. The question is, how do I do that? How do I prepare for that? How do I move forward? So what would you tell me? Yeah, investing in people is a starting point for supply chain planning. We see that there is shortage of talent within supply chain planning professionals, shortage of talents in demand planners, supply planners, S&OP leaders, all across the globe. And we see from our surveys that their salary ranges are increasing versus pre-pandemic. And therefore, investing into the right capability at the right locations would build a starting point for a, a supply chain planning organization. Now, one important trend that we've seen in the past is essentially moving from a decentralized planning organization to a centralized one. That may be a solution for many companies, but it's not the only solution. Mm. Each company needs to choose where they want to be in terms of the level of centralization. And that really depends on many factors. It depends on how their manufacturing site footprint, footprint is, is laid out across the globe. It depends on how their commercial structure is there and how they build their P&L responsibility within the, the different functions. Well, one size clearly doesn't fit all, but nevertheless, a great, great drill down into this important area. Michelle, I know you're busy here at the, uh, at the conference, but you found time to speak with us. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Russell. Michelle Youssef, Gartner, speaking with us today about supply chain planning in quite difficult and chaotic times. Thanks for watching.